Okay, hello, hello to everyone. All right, this time we are going to proceed on to the part two of getting the intersection of sets. Last time we had our part one of getting the intersection of sets. Now, what are we going to do into the part two? Okay, stay tuned in this video. Just a sort of recall, let us again flash the definition of intersection of sets. Intersection of sets A and B denoted by A, intersection B, is the set of all elements common to both sets A and B. Now what if we are given with Venn diagram again? How are we going? to find the intersection of sets. Okay, so let us have example number one. Given, I have here a universal set and a circle blue, which is for my set A, and a circle green, which is for my set B. And the elements, find the intersection of A and B. Okay, so let us recall. Um, based on the definition, the intersection of A and B is um, getting the common elements, okay? So, in this case, to get the common elements, we're just only going to simply find that portion um, of intersection, okay? So, nasan yung port, par, portion of intersection natin? So, take a look at this. Yang kinukulayan kung yan, that is the portion where you will find the intersection of two sets, okay? So, that shaded portion, the yellow shaded portion, is my intersection or the intersection of two sets. So, therefore, ano yung nakita ninyong elements na naandun sa intersection na yun? Alright, that's right. Is 2 and 1. Yun! You know, yung intersection of set A and set B. Next. Let's have example number two. Given, again, my universal set and circle blue for my set A and circle green for my set B. And the elements. Find the intersection of A and B. In order for us to find the intersection of A and B, be given the um, two sets and the diagram there, what you're going to do is, again, to simply. So, always remember that when you are asked to find the intersection, ano ang lagi ninyong tatandaan? It is always found there. That shaded portion that is the intersection of set A and B. Okay? Kung naaalala ninyo, di ba? Um, last time, sabi natin, ang A natin, kung ang A natin ay halimbawa ay based from the given di Venn diagram, are the elements 2, 3, 8, 5, and 7, and ang elements ni B ay yung elements na yung nasa loob ng green, ha? 5, 7, 6, 10, 9. Sabi natin nung nakaraan sa part 1 of getting the intersection of sets, ang intersection of sets ay yung common elements. Element na nakita mo kay A at kay B. So, kung papansin natin, si A dito, ang elements niya ay 2, 3, 8, 5, 7. Ito yon. Okay, yan yun, di ba? Yan yun. And then, yung elements naman ni B ay 5, C, 7, 6, 10, 9. So, ito yun, di ba? 5, pa rin yun, 7, 6, 10, 9. O, oh, ano yung common elements na na kay A at saka kay B? I mean, ano yung elements na common kay A at saka B? Diba? Si 5 at saka si 7. So, therefore, the answer is 5 and 7. Okay? Okay, let's have example number 3. Given, find the intersection of A and B. 
given the following. Alright? So, I have now here three sets. If you have three sets, ano kaya ang, paano, ano kaya ang intersection ni A at saka ni B? So, yung set A ko ay yung um, circle blue and yung set, set B ko ay yung circle na green. The elements and the violet one is my set C. Pero, ang hinihingi ay A at saka B. Ano daw yung intersection nila? So, hanapin natin yung A. Nasaan ba yung A natin? Yung blue, di ba? Ano yung mga elements na naandun kay A? Si 2, 3, 4, 1. Ano-ano naman yung elements na na kay B? Hanapin natin. Okay? Ang elements ni B ay 6, 5, 7, 4, 3. Nakikita nyo? Alright. So, if we're going to highlight again, nasaan ang ating intersection of A and B? Yang shaded portion na yan. Okay? Sineshadan ko ha. Sineshadan ko. Okay? Eh, ma'am, paano po itong 8 at saka 9? Nasaan ba si 8 at saka si 9? Si 8 at saka si 9 ay na kay C. Ano ba ang hinihingi? Ang hinihingi ay yung intersection ni A at saka ni B lang. So, ibig sabihin, doon ka lang mag-focus kay A at saka kay B. Kunin mo yung intersection nila, yung shaded portion. Therefore, ang ating sagot ay 3 and Okay? Alright, let us have example number 4. Given. Again, find the intersection of B and C naman. Okay? So, here is my universal set. With three sets. Set A, set B, and set C. What is the intersection of B and C? In order for us to find the intersection of B and C first, let us find where your B is. Nasaan ba B mo? Yung green, di ba? Ano na yung mga elements natin doon? Ang elements natin ay si 6, 3, 4, 7, and 5. Tama? Okay, next. Hanapin naman natin ngayon si C. Okay? Ang C natin ay yung violet. Okay? So, um, yung nasa loob ng bilog ng violet, ha? Si 1, 8, 9, 7, and 4. So, therefore, ang, L, ang intersection ni B and C ay nasa ang part. Okay? May I shade it again? Makikita ba? That part is your intersection of B and C. Ma'am, paano po yung ano, yung 2? Ang tanong ko, nasan ba si 2? Di ba ang 2 ay na kay A? Hinihingi ba si A? Hindi, di ba? Okay? At saka, isa pang paliwanag doon, nasan ba si 2? Nasa loob ba ng bilog ng B at saka C? Wala, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya kailangan. Therefore, your final answer will be Okay. Um, 4 and 7. That is the intersection of B and C. Okay, let us have example number 5. For example number 5, given. Again, find the intersection of A, B, and C. Okay, so this time, ang hinihingi ay intersection ng tatlong sets. How do we do that? Okay? So, last time, di ba, and explain ko sa inyo, sa part 1 ng getting the intersection of sets natin, sabi natin, kung ang hinihingi ay yung intersection of sets, what we do is that, dapat titignan natin lahat. Dapat, meron kang element na nakita mismo dun sa tatlong sets na yon. Ibig sabihin, dapat nakikita mo siya kay A, nakikita mo siya kay B, at nakikita mo rin siya kay C. Para matawag mong intersection ng tatlong sets na yon. Yung example number 1, 2, 4 kasi natin, ang hinihingi ay mga intersection lang ng dalawang sets. So, paano kung ang hinihingi ay tatlong set na? Okay? So, let us take a look at the following example. Alright? So, set A with the following elements. Okay? Set B and set C. Now, tignan natin yung A natin. Um, ang gagawin ko ay, uh, eh, 
bibilugan ko yung elements na bawat set. Okay? So, for set A, this is color blue. For set A, set A tayo. Okay? So, set A natin, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay? Tingnan nyo, ha? Tingnan nyo. Hanapin nyo dyan yung element na tatlong beses ko dapat mabibilugan. Pag nabilugan ko siya ng tatlong beses, ibig sabihin, yun na yung intersection of set A, set B, and set C. Okay, next. For set B naman, bilugan natin yung elements ni set B. So, titingin tayo sa loob ng kulay green na bilog, di ba? So, 6, 3, 5, 4, 7. Okay? Next. Doon naman tayo sa set C. Yung elements ng set C. So, ibig sabihin, doon tayo titingin sa loob ng bilog na violet. Alright? So, bilogin natin. So, si 8, 9, 1, 7, 4. Okay? Alin doon yung element na nabilugan ko ng tatlong beses? Yung element na nabilugan ko ng tatlong beses is none other than the intersection of... Set A, set B, and set C. So, eto yun. Yan yung nasa gitna na yan. Ano may ng element na naan dyan, yan yung intersection ni, ni A, B, and C. So, therefore, your answer is 4 only. Okay? I hope you learned in our discussion about getting the difference of sets. Now, stay tuned because we're going to have another video tutorial for um, getting the difference of sets. Bye!